Um, guys, let's fast forward. Ross, a girl, playing at home in a couple of days. What's that going to be like? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be a nervous wreck, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm, I've heard that a fair few people are going to come out, which is exciting. And um, yeah, it'll be good to, to be able to play in Newry. And um, lots of the people down there love their sport. So I think, yeah, no matter what, ga what sport it was playing, that uh, lots of people were going to turn up. So yeah, looking forward to it. So on that as well, I mean, how long have you been looking forward to this in particular? What, what sort of Darcy Brown fanfare can we see? <laughs> uh, there might be a few people having a couple of skewies uh, maybe <laughs> on the hill, but um, yeah, I, I remember being there a few years ago. Um, I was running drinks and yeah, there was a fair pe few people yelling out to me just, um, and I was just running drinks. So no, it should be good and um, it'll be a good time. Um, now, in terms of your progression, uh, we just heard from Talia as well, FaceTime and all those types of things. Like, clearly this is a, it seems like it's a really tight group. Yeah, it definitely is. Um, yeah, we try and do as much things um, as we can together because we're only basically at home for not a very long time and then we fly away and then people want to just chill out. So, um, yeah, we, we have a lot of fun and, um, yeah, we get along really well, which is always nice in a team environment, which I think shows um, how successful we've been over the last four years or something like that. So, um, yeah, it's nice to be a part of. So it sounds like not just the Barossa, that'll be fun, but you guys cherish cherished playing anywhere at home? Yeah, definitely. Um, it's always good to come out to Karen Rolton. It's such a beautiful ground and, um, yeah, they've got a good setup and a few, fair few people come out after work and stuff like that, which is nice. Good. I'll just take us through that catch of uh, Alana King in uh, the sport, just right in front of the dugout. Um, yeah, I was, I was hoping I wasn't going to put it down because it was right in front of the dugout, but, um, yeah, I mean, I thought it was going to drop a lot a lot further in front of me than what it did, so I put a bit of mayo on it. Um, but yeah, at least I caught it and it was shooters, shooter was bowling as well, which is even scarier, so glad I held on to it. And that top four is looking really, really tight at the moment. How important is it to put on three really strong performances this week? Yeah, definitely. We, you know, the final structure is made for people that finish higher up the ladder, so yeah, we want to be finishing in those, in those top um, two, so we um, don't have to play as many games as we did last time, but um, yeah, just to be in the finals, I guess, to make it. That's what we did last time, and we went all the way, but just couldn't finish it off at the end. But yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah. One more. I've always wondered about the dynamic of fast bowlers. So, what shoot it like if you drop a catch? Um, you don't touch it. <laughs> that's that's the main thing. No, that's, that's usually if she drops a catch. But um, yeah, I think she's gotten a lot calmer um, by the sounds of it, which I'm happy that I've only come into her later sort of years. But um, yeah, I think she get. Used to get a bit cranky, but she's she's a bit calmer now. But just I just avoid eye contact or getting in her um, area, sort of sort of thing. So yeah. yeah.